Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about astrology and the death of uh, Kelly Preston. Uh, many of you may have heard that she had died uh, recently, and it was uh, from one report that I saw it was attributed to uh, breast cancer, and sadly she did lose uh, the battle uh, with it. Uh, it said uh, we're hearing about a lot of different celebrities that are passing away uh, in recent time, and I mean, as far as lately, and uh, if, uh, by any uh, remote chance, if any friends or family members happen to see this, I uh, just uh, want to offer my condolences, and prayerfully she is in a better place right now. Uh, the thing about uh, this is, first, as far as uh, her birth date, I got uh, October 13th, 1962, according to wikipedia.org. Uh, and uh, I don't have a, a time of birth for her, so again, I had to improvise and do a solar slash sunrise chart where I put the sun at the same position as the ascendant, and of course, that is uh, Libra. And uh, again, her birthday is October 13th, 1962. Uh, she, uh, the thing, um, of course, you know, Libra's sun, Libra is in its fall, sadly. They're not, they don't have the vitality that Aries does. Of course, they're the opposite sign. Of Aries obviously uh, they don't they have more energy than say vices or cancer but they certainly don't have the vitality that uh, that Aries has and that does it plays a role it, to some degree I would say in their resistance to debilitations I don't know if it really made that much difference as far as something like this we're talking about something cancerous uh, the thing about it is uh, Libras, I mean, right now um, have to be really careful and prudent because a lot of Libras are experiencing uh, the transit, uh, number of transits in their fourth house of the end of life. And you have transit Pluto right now, which puts it in the, in the solar sunrise chart, it puts it in her fourth house of the end of life. And you're talking about um, Pluto is, uh, it's also making a loose square to her sun. And in Libra, and of course, Pluto can be about death and obliteration. The sun can be about life. But another thing uh, that I I did uh, notice is, I mean, you're talking about a death. I mean, you could end of life. That can be when you're talking about Pluto, something that's very, you know, something that can be uh, destructive. She also at this time had transit Neptune right right by her six, uh, or at least very close to the sixth house cusp in the solar. Uh, sunrise chart and it's also making an inconjunct aspect to her sun uh, in Libra and of course Neptune I mean can be about diseases Pisces can be about ones that can't be eradicated uh, you're talking about and, and, and again you're talking about Neptune and uh, and diseases Pisces ones that can't be eradicated or obliterated and when you have inconjunct aspects in astrology they often can be about health related issues and you're having this making it in conjunction to the sun in Libra and the sun of course it can be associated with physical issues yes the ascendant is what dominates the appearance the physical body and uh, and, and can also dominate health related physical related issues but the sun can play a role in that as well and of course we don't know her I don't know her ascendant because I could not did not see a birth time for her online but Another thing is natally, she does have Saturn uh, in, the, I mean, in, in the solar sunrise chart. Saturn is in uh, the fourth house. It's also the fourth house ruler. So it shows that the end of life can have some limitations, sorrow, dejection, and, and really some kind of loss or something really that, that has some despondency perhaps uh, connected uh, with it as well. She also has Neptune in the first house in her uh, solar sunrise chart and when you have planets that are in uh, in, in the first house I don't know if I'm saying it right if the first house inhabits planets or you know there was planets inhabiting the first house however it's set those to be stated and articulated you are uh, you can have sometimes physical issues associated with that planet that is in that and that is in the first house because the first house is connected with the physical Body. Neptune can be about uh, diseases and sadly it's Neptune and Scorpio. Scorpio is the sign sadly associated uh, with death and could also weaken the vitality and energy to some degree 
uh, because the first house is also associated with vitality. Now, another thing I noticed in her chart is that she has Jupiter uh, in Pisces conjunct Chiron in Pisces. Now, uh, you're talking about Jupiter in astrology, as I've spoken in about in previous videos a uh, number of times, not to be overly redundant, but Jupiter, uh, even though it's strongly benign and benevolent, could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand, it could be very paradoxical. It can enlarge and expand Pisces-related issues, I would say, in some cases, which can be about diseases that can't be eradicated or, or cured. And you're talking about the conjunction to Chiron that could exacerbate suffering or another way of, well, really, I mean, another way of looking at it is that Chiron being in Pisces can be about some wounds, some suffering, sometimes physical, that it can manifest in physical suffering that can be uh, with Pisces related things such as issues with diseases that can't be eradicated in the conjunction to Jupiter can exacerbate that. So no matter how you look at that, that conjunction can be an indicator of inflated issues that are Pisces related. It would not surprise me if she had some issues with the lymphatic system, the feet, the toes. I don't know if she ever drank or if she was ever into alcohol or drugs. She may, I mean, anything's possible, but I don't really, I don't, that, I mean, I, we really don't know and I don't want to say something that's not, um, that may be fallacious. She may not have been. She seemed like she had a good head on her shoulder. She probably wasn't a, any habitual drinker, but or into drugs or alcohol for any extensive period, you know, as far as um, extensive use of it. But anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to say is that going back to the Saturn in the fourth house in the solar sunrise chart, some of you may know this, some of you may not, but each house in astrology actually corresponds with parts of the physical body. The fourth house can be associated with the chest breast area and Saturn in the fourth can sometimes in some uh, negative manifestation can give perhaps some restrictions or some strong debilitations or difficulties that are associated uh, with that in response more responsibility to that area because Saturn can also be about uh, responsibility. Saturn being an Aquarius, it could be something that might have come on to her at least very spontaneously in something that you're talking about and on which could be perceived as an unusual issue because breast cancer, I don't know how you know how rare that is. It's probably something that most people women do not do not get. So you could argue that it is something that could be of an unusual nature uh, that could be breast uh, related. Now, another thing she has in the solar slash sunrise chart, Pisces is on the sixth house cuff. So right there, that could be Pisces health related issues, which can include the feet, the toes, the lymphatic system, could be something with the mucous membranes, in this case a disease that couldn't be likely eradicated or cured. Uh, another thing she had too, looking at her sixth house, she also had transit Mars and a Chiron in the sixth house. Now, the Chiron especially, you could be talking about some wounds and suffering that could be health related, something that maybe is coming on somewhat aggressively, given that it is Chiron, you have, uh, given that it's in Aries, it wouldn't surprise me, given that you have Mars in Aries and, and, and Mars transit and Chiron in Aries in that sixth house, it could be some issues as far as headaches or maybe some kind of inflammation or fevers that may have been going on and transpiring at this time as well. Now here's something else that's interesting too. She also, based on the solar sunrise time and chart, it puts the moon at 22 degrees Aries. A lot of people see that you know, the 22 degrees in astrology can be adverse, can be about some tribulation. And uh, it's, it's really, uh, I mean, and then the moon can be connected actually because as many of you may know the planets in astrology correlate and correspond with different uh, body parts as well. The moon can be associated with the chest and breast area. The fact being an Aries could be something that might come on very uh, spontaneously, very aggressively and uh, that is one way I, I would perceive that and it's also making an opposition to her son uh, as well. So. Anyway, 
And uh, another thing, another thing too is the M. Looking at the MC now, this could be controversial. A lot of people may not look at this as a cardinal uh, T-square configuration, but I'm taking the sun and the moon based on the solar sunrise time are in opposition to each other, and you have both those points being squared by the MC in Cancer, and you have at this time, as I've stated in previous videos, again, not to be overly redundant or repetitive, when you have a, a transiting uh, planet that makes an opposition to a focal point in a T-square configuration, often that could signify significant events. You're talking about transit Pluto making uh, a long opposition to the Cancerian uh, MC. Uh, at this time, and Pluto, of course, is associated uh, with death. And you're talking about pl transit Pluto in the fourth house. Basically, a, a way of looking at that, how that can manifest, that could be the obliteration of that latter part of life uh, for for a uh, for a person. And sadly, that I mean, this was a life. I'm sure she. I mean, she was an actress. I know she was in at least one movie, I believe. And she, I mean, it's, it's just terrible when you hear people that die, you know, well before the time that they should have um, passed away. But those are, you really don't have too much more to say uh, on this uh, at this time. Now, the zodiac sign Taurus is on the eighth house cusp in the solar sunrise chart. So even though she died due attributed to this breast cancer, apparently. Um, I'm hoping that the death was at least fairly uh, peaceful having Taurus on the 8th house cusp in the solar uh, sunrise uh, chart. And another thing I noticed too, she also had transit uh, transit sun in Cancer to making a loose square to her natal um, sun in Libra. And, and the sun, of course, could be about physical issues you're talking about the transit sun making a loose square to the natal sun the transit sun in cancer well of course the zodiac sign cancer can be connected with the chest and breast area so that's an indicate another indicator that there was going to be perhaps more difficulty in contending and dealing with the breast cancer that she had well anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time people edwin learn saying stay well